guys, it's Toby Morrison here and I just wanted to do this quick video to help you if what you're doing right now is currently not working for you. And one of the biggest things I help my clients with and all my people in my online recovery program is to stop doing what's not working and continue doing what is working or to start doing what does work. And so if you're along your journey and you know, you've probably tried lots of different things and you know, some things have helped and maybe some things have helped you get to the place that you're at right now, but you're stuck in this situation where you're not progressing even further. And this is a time where I highly recommend figuring out what's not working, but then also when you do that, you will have the awareness on maybe what you could do differently to help you from here to here. And, you know, as you know, CFS recovery and, and life isn't, you know, this straight, uh, you know, process. It's this up and down kind of wavy process that ebbs and flows um, to get to where you want to get to. So my suggestion is today is what you, what, what you are doing, is it hindering you or helping you? And you can, it's just a simple question. You can literally get a pen and paper. Um, you can, you can write this down the middle. Um, what am I doing that's hindering me? What can I do that can help me? And you might be already doing some amazing things um, that are helping you, but there might be some things that are holding you back, even though they might look healthy on paper, it's the way that you go about them or you know, you feel like you should do them, but it's stressing you out. And even though it's healthy to do, it's, it might not be actually that good for you because it's stressing you out. And so the stress of it is actually worse than actually doing the thing that was going to benefit you in the first place. Um, so I hope that makes sense. So yeah, is what you're doing hindering you or helping you? If it's not helping you, then start to figure out some things that might change that for you. And from there, um, you know, you can put to rest the stuff that isn't useful anymore and you can start to do more of what is good for you and sometimes what more what is more better for you is to maybe do less or to stop trying so hard or to loosen the grip on your routine and structure that helped you get to where you're at but now you're like micromanaging everything and that's just exhausting and that's just a few ideas and a few examples of what some people um, go through and when they when they let go of that um, they instantly get a bit more energy and they start to do things in a much more appropriate way. So I hope that helps. Um, by the way, I am also giving away, not upside down, <laughs> I'm giving away the first two chapters of this book, Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, A Guide to Recovery, um, in an ebook form. So you can get it instantly straight away. Uh, all you need to do is go to join.cfs cfshealth.com slash book dash download. I'll put the link below. Um, go and download, download that straight away. There's some amazing stories in there of other people who have had an experience chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia uh, who have gotten better and improved from the things I'm talking about today. And also, uh, as part of that, there is an amazing 45-minute uh, masterclass, which is a, which is a longer form uh, online class that you can take right now um, that helps you with recovery. I talk about the five key pillars of recovery, uh, exactly what you need to do to help yourself. Uh, it's very easy to watch. It's actually really engaging and it's really inspiring. I share with you some amazing stories of all people of all walks of life, um, just like you who have gone through some really hard times and have overcome them and, and you know, really are living a rich, full life. So go and check that out. Once you uh, once you download the book, you'll be taken to a page where you can watch that masterclass straight away and, um, yeah, benefit from it. All the best for now. See you in the next video. Bye.